G'day everyone, welcome to another episode, episode 9 of HT Monaro Build. Uh, what I'm going to do today in this episode is uh, I'm going to rip the diff out. This is an old banjo, an old banjo diff, bango. So um, it's just sitting there, it's got no um, shockies, shockies for it up here. Um, but it's just sitting there, I need to. Um, Jack the back of the car up, pull that diff out. I, I think I've got to leave the um, spring hangers in there because the diff builder wants the measurement between the centre of the um, uh, leaf spring mount, if you like, that hole that's normally there, uh, from one side to the other, um, and work out where the centre is. Make sure that um, when he builds the diff, uh, both tubes are going to be um, the same length. I'm assuming they are, but um, you never know. Um, these tyres I've got here, these are my back tyres. Um, they are um, 265 5015s. Um, from the research I've done, they're about as big as you can get without tubbing, uh, unless you go for 245 5015s. So, um, whichever, whichever way it turns you on. I like the, the fatter tyre. Um, well, hopefully, it'll look good. I don't really know. I haven't had it under there yet, so I'm um, keen to see you under there. So what the process today will be to uh, jack it back the car up, uh, put it on stand somehow. I uh, haven't quite worked out how to do that yet. And then uh, pull that diff out with leaving the springs there. So I'll undo the, the diff and leave the, um, leave the bloody springs there. And uh, oh, there's the neighbours. And, um, uh, somehow wrestle that diff out and then I can get all the measurements. I'll, I'll put the put my wheels under there and uh, once my wheels are under there I'll be able to um, uh, put them you know, under, um, stand them on top of a brick or something like that, cut the bricks or a bit of wood or whatever, uh, sit them in there where I want them sitting accurately and then measure that from the inside of the uh, wheel face to the inside of the wheel face which will be hub to hub. Um, I think I've mentioned before, but I'm only going to keep the drum brakes on there. If you put um, disc brakes in there, the, without tubbing it or anything, the caliper and with the shortened diff, it's only because these rims are um, eight and a half inch rims with a three and three eighth inch backspace, which puts the, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, if the normal backspace would have the um, hub of the, the um, mounting surface of the rim there, these ones are in a little bit. So there's, more, there's a shorter distance between here and here than there is between here and here. So I'm sure most people know what I'm talking about. Getting back to what I was saying, um, uh, so with a shortened diff, if you put cal disc brake calipers there, as the travel of the suspension goes up and down, those calipers will foul on the, axle, uh, on the um, subframe. Uh, so you can notch the subframe, which uh, I didn't really want to do, um, or you you can uh, just keep the drum brakes. Um, so I'm just going to keep drum brakes. I've got those wheel woods on the front, four piston calipers I think they are. Um, they'll do a good enough job of stopping them. I'm going to race this thing. It's not going down drag. I well, probably will, but not not as a you know not as a purpose built speedster drag car, uh, just a cruiser. Um, so I'll get into it and uh, take you with me. Thanks for watching episode 9. While I've got you here, make sure you hit the like button, uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, and if you hit the little bell, you'll get reminders. Uh, I think I've been telling you the wrong thing lately, but you'll get reminders um, when new episodes come out if you like it, if you subscribe and hit the little bell for the reminders. So with that, uh, I'll get into it. So here we are at the back of the car jacked up. I'm about to drop it down onto those axle stands you see there. I'll take you around there quickly. I've got these chassis strengthening kit. It's this bar from Castle Main Rod Chop. It ties the front end to the back all the way. It stiffens up the um, suspension a little bit. So I'll drop it onto that. Um, That should go all right, I think. Good to go. Oh, so 
that far, so good. job is to undo these. You can see they're only in loose, aren't they? Just holding the stiff in. those four done, the diff's just sitting in there. So, just got my neighbour coming over in a minute. When he gets in, I'll get the jack out of there. And we'll rip that out. I might even have a crack now. Just a second. Got the muscle in there. So, I'll just go. Some um, blocks, and get some substantial blocks by looks of it. Get something that's an equal height because that's going to sit there right up under there. Oh, this heaps right. Fuck yeah. That's good. So I'm going to lift that up right up under there, place them there on both sides. Exactly a millimetre perfect where I want it. Yeah. So that's not rubbing. So that's not rubbing. And then measure from inside face to inside face. Have you got blocks or something to set up? Yeah, I'll have to. Look at that wheel from start. Put the wheel under there with the uh, same height on both sides and uh, the wheel's a hot fair way up it probably won't be up that way and it's sort of sitting exactly where we need it um, seems to be enough room finger room there and then under here the lips there's a bit of room with the lip but i could actually get rid of that lip too if i wanted to which would actually um, give me a bit more room. So, all in all, I think that's going to fit in there, no problem. Same on the other side. That's sitting there. 
balanced. There's enough room, finger room there. And again, the lip, and that's the same amount of height in the blocks and stuff. And then the lip, a little bit closer probably. Yeah, so I probably actually need to move that out a bit, but anyway, uh, I'll get a measurement there and we'll see how we go. So we've got the inside face to inside face is 13.85. So, um, so if you get out flicking the cameraman, <laughs> so that's 13.85, which is pretty much what I thought it was going to be. Now, what we're going to do is measure from the centre of this spring uh, to the to the face. So, I'm just going to work out how we're going to get a, um, an accurate reading on that, to, just to make sure that the distances are the same. Otherwise, the um, one tube or one extra tube will have to be longer than the other. But, um, yep, happy with that. That's good. 1385. Thanks, mate. I'll get this. I'll, I'll use this. If you just push it on, I can push it hard on that now. And you've got it. I've got the spirit level. I'm using the spirit level now. And now right we've got about there. I would say we're about 201. 201? Yeah. Right, we'll measure the other side. Yeah. 201. Right, this one I'll get the spirit level even again. I'll well, we put a hand there. You happy? Yeah. It's probably 205. Yeah, 205. 205 and 201. Righto. Right, man. That's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> Diff is back in. Thanks for this big unit. <coughs> oh. It doesn't look right, it's so tiny. Big. Thanks, mate. Anytime. So, just to finish up with this episode, I'm just gonna break the old diff back in. It's all nipped up. Now I can just bloody um, put the wheels back on and take it off the axle stand so I can move the car around again. Happy days. Lastly, what I wanted to show you is these HQ mounting plates. I've got these HQ brake backing plates and I've got the new drums on order um, and I bought these old ones. And I've got new adjusters, the new springs, uh, pretty much everything there and I just sort of buy these 
just in case there's a couple of parts that are missing so these are HQ also so uh, that's pretty much it now the final measurements for the diff was 1385 for the um, uh, the width from wheel face to wheel face and from the center of the spring hanger to the um, wheel face inside of the wheel face again was uh, 173 173 mil so I'll get that off to the dip builder tonight and uh, we'll get that nine inch built so happy days looking forward to getting that done but uh, she's back on the deck anyway thanks for watching episode nine I think it is and uh, kicking a few goals uh, just make sure please guys that you hit like and subscribe um, and you get the notifications if you hit the notification bell um, that'd be that'd be great uh, there's a lot of people watching uh, I think I've got 260 subscribers so I'm not stoked for that it um, keeps me going because at least now I know the doors here at least now I know that I've got um, you know like a, it keeps me going knowing that people are watching me and interested to see what I'm doing so um, you know, I'm not really doing it for any other reason other than I'm just enjoying that part of a lot of video editing and that sort of thing so we've got, we've got the dog here too anyway I'll turn it off now and uh, thanks very much guys cheers